So the, the, the third workshop was devoted to economic and social issues in the Middle East. The chair uh, was Abdurrahman Al Hamidi, Director General and Chairman of the Board of Executive and Directors at the Arab Monetary Fund. So he introduced the discussion focusing on the increasing economic challenges in the area, an area which is already affected by unemployment and poverty, not to mention political tensions, which may rise the risk premium. The first uh, intervenant was Mona uh, Makram Abed. She is a, an Egyptian senator, advisor to the UN High Representative for the Alliance of Civilizations, and she is a former member of the Egyptian Parliament. She addressed the consequences uh, of the Gaza crisis on the region. On one hand, Egypt, her country, a secular and a modern state, which has defeated uh, the Muslim Brotherhood, wouldn't be necessarily unhappy to see Hamas being eliminated, she said. But on the other hand, President Sisi cannot stay idle before the massacre committed by Israel in Gaza City. So the Egyptians are ready to help for uh, humanitarian action, but they are at the same time opposed to a transfer of population from the Gaza Strip to Sinai, considering that it would definitely jeopardize the creation of a Palestinian state. In this respect, she draw attention to uh, the role of Mohammed Dahlan, a key figure of PLO, a former head of the preventive security in Gaza after Oslo agreements, who may play, according to her, in the next future, a role capitalizing on the strong rela relations he enjoys with most of the Palestinian and regional actors, including Israel and the United Arab Emirates. His latest, his latest proposal for a caretaker government in Gaza, preparing elections after the end of the present war, should be taken into due account uh, according to, to Bonar. The second speaker was Abdurrahman al Nayadi from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in, in Abu Dhabi. He stressed on the importance of economic growth in a region affected by a high rate of unemployment among youngsters, which represent the huge majority of the population and where one child out of four suffers from poverty. From a regional point of view, he uh, said that we should focus more on economics than politics, shifting from de-escalation to cooperation. Extremism, in this respect, should be tackled on all its forms by promoting education, youth and women empowerment, and spreading a counter-narrative focusing on tolerance, coexistence, and religious freedom. The third uh, intervenant was uh, Raed Sharafeddin. He is a central and commercial banker, former vice governor of the Central Bank of Lebanon. He addressed mainly the issue of Syrian refugees in Lebanon, whose exact number is unknown, from one million, according to some figures, to two and a half million which is a figure uh, which amounts to more than one-third of the entire population of the country. He recalled that at the beginning of the Syrian crisis, those refugees were welcomed in Lebanon on a humanitarian basis. But after more than 10 years, they became to be perceived as a political and security threat, not to mention the losses of, for the Lebanese economy provoked by the Syrian conflict, which amount to about 46 billion US dollars. And we are now witnessing a trend, a growing trend among the public opinion in Lebanon to send those refugees back to Syria, where things are, in a sense, slowly improving. Syrians in Lebanon, it should be recalled, are nowadays at the first rank of refugees in the world. And due to their high birth rate, their number could be equal 
to the natives in Lebanon by 2043. The, uh, other, the following uh, uh, speaker was Ernesto Damiani. He is a professor at Khalifa University for the Department of Electrical Engineering on Computer Science, director of the Center for Cyber Physical Systems. He um, addressed the issue of artificial intelligence in the Middle East, stressing on the importance of the Gulf area as a hub between East and West. There should be, according to, to his views, uh, common strategies concerning the development of AI in the region based on confidence. But it is not necessarily, he said, an easy task in an area afflicted by conflicts. I was the, the following uh, speaker and I uh, addressed the main so social challenges in the uh, Middle East, stressing on key points. Economic diversification, youth and power em empowerment, uh, as it was uh, pinpointed by the, the Emirati uh, diplomat, political and social inclusion, regional cooperation on sustainable development and last numerical transformation. The next, the following uh, intervention was Mamdouh Karakuluchu. Uh, Mamdouh Karakuluchu is founding member of the uh, Global Relations Forum, founding partner of Kanumun and chairman of Croton Consulting. He also stressed in his uh, speech on confidence as a key issue for the economic development in the region. He pinpointed on the high rate of unemployment, informality of the economy and the weakness of the private sector as hampering factors. If reforms which have been carried out have not reached the expected goals in the last years, there is still, according to him, place for strategic opportunities, including a better integration with Europe in the field of energy. He said that good governance is not enough, it's, it's a must, but it's not enough. There should be also leadership, vision, and the smart guidance. Finally, Kamal Abdallah, who is managing director and CEO of Canal Sugar from Egypt, address the question of food security, starting from the experience of his uh, own country, Egypt, and the experience of food riots in his country. Uh, Egypt, whose government has been forced to heavily import and subsidize to cope with this situation. He stressed on the necessity to change the scope for from food security to food wellness pinpointing on the fact that water crisis will be probably the next challenge. And in this respect, he considers that desalination could be an affordable solution. Thank you.